Hi there, Jim from Manic Studios here. Today we're going to be doing some more drums to the Great Leveller because I wasn't happy with what happened last time. It was a bit out of time, so we're going to do that again. And we're going to do a mix down of the song Cosmos. So if that mixed down, I'll be doing a video clip to that and uh, we should have it up in the next couple of weeks. That one. Just something made up like that. Oh, yeah? Cool. Yeah, I think you want to do a um, bit, bit of a faster one. Oh, yeah? Like old school style, like uh, you know, one inch punch, kind of thrashy, fast, yeah. fast and thrashy. Oh, yeah. I'm trying one of those. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I think. Playing drums to the click is going to create more feel, I think, because I'll be playing rhythm to the drums instead of rhythm to a click track, you know, so I can, I think I can lock in to the, to the drums a lot better and create more feel. Okay. Yeah. Whatever works, man. Mm. So you just want to click, that's it. Yeah. Okay. And um, yeah, I think it'll turn out okay. Bass drum marking techniques. Yeah. Need a bit of length on that. Can you just push that a bit closer? It's got any shoot, it's got it's busted like there. Like that. But I guess if we can't tighten there. No, it's you see it's busted on this side, it's got a crack. Oh right. That's alright. Yeah, yeah I'll it won't move. Try not to get it. Right. Scale down the drum kit yet again. Just so we can fit in some more mics. So every drum can be mic'd up. Sane. Yes. So Andrew doesn't get a headache mm -hmm. when he's trying to figure out which drum's what. Too late. <laughs> I haven't got a tuning key today, but um, I think the drums will sound okay. But it would be good to give him a tweak, so I want to see if I can find something. Okay, so I found a pair of pliers, very unconventional. And here we have a tune bot. This is a little instrument that will tune each lug to a certain frequency, in this case being 281. So what we do is we give it a little tap, 281, this one a little tap, it's 259, okay, that has to come up. This Difficult with one hand. Okay, I'll try that. Okay. A bit more. Two 
Close, so it's only two of them need to be adjusted. Okay, so it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. So that's the whole drum has a frequency of 198. So we'll see how that sounds. Sorry, what was that? Um, no. Drum sounds? Okay. Neat little things. Still need to learn how to use it properly. You have to spend a lot of time just refining frequencies, which we just haven't got that much time at the moment. better mm. I felt it I felt it was a lot easier to um, get the get right. rhythm yeah yeah no, it's good. Good, good, good little performance yeah um, so do some guitar on it or... uh, no let's do the mix down, the mix down? With, uh, Cosmos all right. yeah, okay, yeah. All, right. all that setting up all to be over in two takes that's the way it goes. Of, uh, lots of kick in it and um, lots lots of bass. Yeah, we've got the backing track which has got that in it, so it kind of. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, be good to get more of more of a, a snare drum sound, 
like on the snare drum, it's, it sounds a bit like two. It's just set, it just just sounds like one of the toms. Just sounds like a uh, like in the same league as like the rest of the kit. And I'd like to have it up uh, and sounding more like a snare, like with that um, like a, a, a snap. Rest of the mix in, yeah. yeah. Well, it changes, doesn't it? Huh? It changes, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. room there to do that? Well you can but the thing is that it'll stand out like a sore thumb if you do. I mean it already is pretty the highest, pretty much the highest thing. I can try and crank it. Yeah, cr crank it too. Yeah, bring it down a bit. Mastering. So what we're going to do first is we're going to do a hard limit. <clears throat> it's going to sound strange, but we're going to do a hard clip. Limit to negative one. Done. <clears throat> what does that do? This is called. Uh, the most basic, basic. So what it does is it just squishes it down a little bit. You'll see it come down just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Eventually, see that came down. Yeah. So now we've just clipped the top off where it was hitting the top. Yep. Okay. Now we're actually going to. Um, it's going to sound sound really strange, but we're going to actually squash it down again. Actually, amplify it. Sorry. Oh. We're okay. Bring it up. We're going to bring it up by one. Okay? Oh. Because we just. We just um, clip the top off it, so now we can amplify that. And then we're going to do is we're going to squash it again and amplify it again. Oh. Lots of squishing and amplifying. Yeah, pretty much. It's like really backyard mastering <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Alright, so that should bring it back up again. And so now we go. Limit. Yep. I'm just going to bring it down to three. This is really going to squash it down. We'll see how bad it is. There's a few points there that are uh, clipping. Yeah. Well, they're supposed. It's, it's kind of supposed to be right up there. See how we go. Oh yeah. And then oh, I think that's too much. We're cutting a whole bunches off there. I should do it. I'll go down a bit less. I'm gonna go down to Oh, 
limita, limita, limit, limit, limita. I'm just going to bring it down by, we'll try 1.5 decibels. See how that looks like. Uh, just want to get down to these bits here, cut those, and then I should be able to bring the whole lot up again. Done? Yeah, it's just processing. Oh. There we go. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, is that right?